Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're gonna create this retro text animation in Adobe After Effects. All right, here I am in a new composition. Let's create a background. I'll rename it BG and select a color, which is blue, hit OK. And I'm gonna lock the background. Grab the text tool and type in your text. Retro. And I'm gonna change the color to something like yellow and center it to the composition and maybe even scale it up like this and I'm gonna rename this fill duplicate this control D and go up here and reverse this by clicking this to swap the color and I want this stroke to be around one pixel and change the color to whatever color you like maybe increase it to two Right now, we have two separate text. And if I wanna rename the text, say text, you see the other layer is not the same as the fill layer, all right? So to fix that, we're gonna collapse this fill. Go to text, and we're gonna collapse this fill as well. By the way, let's rename these to stroke, okay? Collapse this, and Hold down Alt on the keyboard, click on this source, and pick whip it to the source of this. So if you click away, now if you rename this fill to text, this also changes along with that, all right? So, all right, let's go ahead and create a solid, and I'm gonna rename it blinds, and select the color and change it to black, hit OK and go to the effects and presets and search for blinds. So drag and drop this Venetian blinds in this transition. Drag and drop it on the solid and come to the effects controls and set this to around 20% and direction to a negative 30. And you can play with this maybe 85. I'm gonna move these blinds just on top of this fill and change this track mat to alpha inverted so that you have a texture going on on the text, all right? So once you have this, select all of this, excluding the background layer, and I'm gonna pre-compose it. Right click and pre-compose, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename this title. Hit OK. So now that you have the title, we don't have any animation here. So let's go back inside this title, double click on this, and we're gonna animate this, all right? So I'm gonna go to the animation presets and I'm gonna use my text animation presets. And if you don't have these presets, it's free to download. The link will be there in the description down below. You can download it from my website. So. Collapse this, go to Motion Designer Text Animation Presets, and I'm gonna select this slide from below, drag and drop it here, and the same for the stroke, all right? So if you play it back, you have this. So go to the Effects and Presets and type in Transform, and drag and drop this Transform on Fill. So once you have the text here, I'm gonna set a keyframe for this queue. Set a keyframe and hold down shift and hit page down twice and set this to a negative 10. So we're gonna do the same for this to the stroke layer. Selecting on the fill layer, hit U and you have these keyframes. Select both these keyframes, F9 for easy ease and I'm gonna copy this transform. Select this, Control C to copy, and select this stroke. Make sure your time indicator is set at the beginning of this keyframe. So select this stroke, Control V to paste it. So if you play it back, you have the same like the fill layer, all right? So if you play it back now, okay, 
that's very nice and let's close this and let's go back to the main composition and all right so now it's time to create that shadow animation so i'm gonna duplicate this title Control d to duplicate it and i'm gonna rename this shadow okay so put it just below the title and i'm gonna go to the effects and presets and search for fill fill so that we can change the color of this all right so let's leave the red for now and let's go and type in radial all right so i'm gonna select this cc radial blur drag and drop it on the shadow and i'm gonna search for curves again and drag and drop it on that same layer okay so right now we don't have anything you're gonna you want to change this type from scratch to fading zoom and we're gonna offset this amount to a negative 5 or negative 10 or negative 20 depending on how you want the higher the number the intense the shadows okay so if you select this center and point it somewhere here you see the shadows here but the problem with this is it's fading so we don't want that fading so these are alpha channels so we're gonna select these curves and instead of keeping it on RGB we want to control only the alpha channels right so we're gonna, we're gonna change from RGB to alpha and we're gonna crank this up grab the middle point and if you slowly drag it up you can see it, it's filling up it's filling up the gaps so keep it somewhere here so we have that right so now that we have that we can change the color to your desired color I'm gonna you know just set it to something like this darker blue okay so we're gonna animate the shadows now okay so if you want if you want more drop shadow, you can just increase this by negative 10. You can see that. And right now, if I scrub through the timeline, we have this skew. And after that, I want this shadow to come up. Okay. So I'm going to drag this point closer to the text somewhere here and set a keyframe for the center. And I'm gonna go hold down shift and page down twice and I'm gonna drag it away somewhere here okay hit U select all the keyframes hit F9 and if you play back all right now that we have that animation it's a little bit clean so I have a textures I have downloaded these textures from Google drag and drop it on top of that scale it up and change this blending mode to screen i hope you like this video and if you want to learn more after effects you can watch this video thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care